For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create three different looks using the Tropical Storm palette by Primark. Quite an interesting collection of colors, very different from what I usually wear, so let's give it a try. So I split this palette into three mini palettes, so three little quads. We're going to start off with the first one, which is the lavender one. So I'm going to start by applying the lavender all over my lid, which I've already primed. Now this shadow is very matte, so I found the more I worked with it, the more it moved around and separated. So I would recommend using a sticky base to give it something to hold on to. So as I blended this up into the crease, you can see how it disappeared from the lid, which isn't so bad in the crease area, but then I thought, how are we going to make this work on the lid? Which I'll come back to in a second. Then what I wanted to do to soften out any harsh lines in the crease is I applied the lighter shade under the brows and then softened it out with a clean blending brush just so we blend the lighter shade and the darker shade together. We don't have any other shades to use in the crease so we have to make sure that this lavender shade works for us. Then I decided I better cut the crease in order to help the shadow show up so what I did is I cut it and then applied the darker of the two highlights just in that center wasn't the best cutting I've ever done. Very tricky to do on such a matte lid. And I was going to start again, but then I thought, let me just show you guys that I make mistakes, that these things happen. So I want to try to get this to work for me. I then took the lavender shade again, and I went around the edges just to kind of fade in our cut crease a little bit more. Didn't go according to plan, but let's keep going. The next thing that I'd recommend is pop on your lashes because everything looks better with lashes anyway. So you can kind of see what you're creating a little bit more. I then applied the lighter shade of the highlights, which is a beautiful silver. And a little bit of that purple just on the outer edge as well. And that sort of helped to bring the look together, I find. I did really cheat though because I ended up using the pink from the next quad over. This was to soften out the crease because I just couldn't leave it like that. So this is basically what a fade shade is. It creates a fade out when you have a difficult shadow. So it's going to fade out the crease and it's also going to fade out our cut crease as well. All in all, not a bad little quad, but that purple was a little tricky to work with. It is very matte, but I feel like if I try it again, I'd probably just about manage it. Now we have the next four, so palette number two. We're going to start off with the bronzy tone and apply this with a blending brush all over the lid and also into the crease area. Try not to blend it up too high. And taking the pink shade, we're just going to go around the edges and this will just soften out that bronzy tone and give us a slightly different finish. It's almost like a fade shade. This is the fade shade that we used and cheated with in look number one. And then I'm going to take the black and we're going to start really close to those lashes, working this back and forth on the center of the lid. And then you can very softly blend this up. And I would recommend keeping a clean blending brush for softening out any harsh lines. That way you don't get a muddy finish. I then repeated the same process underneath the eyes and added liner to the waterline. And the last shadow in this little quad is this weird red color, which I actually really didn't like. I feel like this palette should have used maybe an orangey color, but it went for this red, and I much preferred this smoky eye without it. Not the biggest fan of that shadow. For look number three, we're going to be using these gorgeous warm tones. So I started off by applying the darker of all the tones all over the lid and into the crease of the eye. And then softened out with the peachy tone just to work around the edges of our dark tone in the crease. And I wanted to cut the crease. It wasn't completely necessary, but I did want to kind of bring out that color a little bit more. So I cut the inner two thirds of the lid and I applied that lighter shade and it actually turned out quite peachy. Then I took the darker tone, the darker peach and just worked around the edges, blending any harsh lines. 
And to finish, I then took the gold shade and I just tapped this over everything. So we're not applying it in one particular area, we're just tapping very lightly just to add a bit of shine. And then just finish off with lashes, a little bit of that darker shade underneath the eye, and there you go. Definitely let me know what combinations you come up with, I would love to hear them. Check out the other videos on the screen. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.